Hi friends, it's Jennifer from the Lamb Library and I'm glad you could join me for story time today. And if you're watching, whether you're watching live or watching a recording later, I'd love it if you would leave me a message in the comments so I know who's watching. All right, and we are going to start with our hello song. So let's warm up our singing voices, sit up nice and straight. Say la 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 la, me 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 me. All right, are we nice and warmed up? Now let's warm up our waving hands. Let's say wave hello. Any wave hello down low. Wave hello up high. Wave hello fast. Wave hello slow. All right, are we ready? So hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, it's story time. Hello, my friends, hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With my friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Can you clap and sing hello? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Now can we stomp and sing hello? Let's stomp and sing hello. Stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we'll stomp and sing hello. Good job. Are we all warmed up? Well, today, can you guess what our topic is? You might see from some of the books behind me or maybe from what I'm wearing. So this time of year, a lot of people like to make lots of different cookies. Of course, cookies are good any time of year, aren't they? What is your favorite cookie? Can you tell me in the comments? I bet somebody said chocolate chip. Did somebody say Oreos? What about gingerbread men? Or what about oatmeal raisin? Lots of yummy cookies. All right, are we we're gonna have some stories about cookies and we're gonna pretend to make cookies first. So are you ready? So let's get out your mixing bowl and got your arm ready to stir. All right, you ready? So we are making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Pretend to your mixer. Add some flour, just two cups. One and two. Stir and stir the batter up. Now we're gonna roll out the dough. Roll them, cut them nice and neat. Put them on a cookie sheet. Now where do they go? In the oven. Bake them, cool them on a rack. Serve them to my friends for snack. All right, let's do that again really quick. All right, so we are making cookie dough. Round and round the peters go. Add some flour, just two cups. One, two. Stir and stir the batter up. Roll them, cut them nice and neat. Put them on a cookie sheet. I'll put them in the oven, bake them, take them out, cool them on a rack. I'll give them to our friends for a snack. Good job. What kind of cookies did you make? I made sugar cookies. How about you? Did anybody make gingerbread men? All right, did anybody make chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? How about snickerdoodles? Isn't that a funny name, but it's a yummy cookie. All right, now who's ready for a story about cookies? So let's sing our story song so we can help us get ready. And it's remember, it's to the tune of if you're happy and you know it. So if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, a cookie story. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, say yum. If you're ready for a story, say yum. If you're ready for a story, a cookie story. If you're ready for a story, say yum. If you're ready for a story, say shh. If you're ready for a story, say shh. If you're ready for a story, a cookie story. If you're ready for a story, say shh. 
All right. And our first story is the best mouse cookie. And it was written by Laura Numeroff. And the pictures were made by Felicia Bond. So Laura Numeroff is the author. And Felicia Bond is the illustrator. And the publisher is HarperCollins. And we have to say thank you to them for letting me share this book with you today. So the best mouse cookie. You can see the little mouse. Do you recognize him from another book maybe? I bet some of you do. Let's see. What kind of cookies is mouse going to make? Look, he's gone to the grocery store to get all the ingredients. He's got his groceries. Now he's almost home. Oh, and look, someone's watching. He's wondering what Mouse is doing. And look, he's peeking in Mouse's house to watch him make the cookies. So now Mouse has everything he needs to make cookies. Look at all the stuff he has. Do you know what you need to make cookies? Let's see, we need butter and sugar and eggs and flour. And it looks like Mouse has all that. He adds flour to the bowl, a little salt, and a little music. It's nice to listen to music while you're cooking. He's making a bit of a mess, isn't he? Got egg on the counter. Mouse thinks baking is easy. Sometimes, uh, more eggs on the floor. That makes a very yucky, sticky mess. Some cooks are pretty messy. The bigger the drop, the louder the plop. So there he is dropping balls of dough on the cookie sheets. Now oh, he puts them in the oven and now Mouse needs a nap because cooking can be tiring. He makes himself comfortable, so he's laying on the rug. But maybe a little too comfortable. Uh-oh, what happened? Mouse fell asleep, and the cookies started burning. See all the smoke coming out. Oh, no. Oh, well. Mouse doesn't mind starting over. He can always make more. So there's all the burnt cookies he you outside so the birds and the bugs can eat them and they won't be wasted. And there's no such thing as too many cookies. Look at all those cookies. Could you eat that many cookies? I think that might be too many cookies. What do you think? And what kind of cookies does it look like he was making? Maybe chocolate chip? I think those are his favorite. But you know what the best kind of cookie is? The best cookie is the one that you share with a friend. So things always taste better when you have a friend to share them with. Just ask Mouse. Oh my goodness. Is he full of cookies? Look at all those crumbs. He's eaten so many cookies. Now he needs a nap. Say night, night, Mouse. He'll go take another nap. So that's one thing you do have to remember when you're baking cookies. You have to pay attention to the time and take them out because they cook fast and you don't want them to burn. All right, now we have another story, but instead of reading the story, I am going to tell this story and I'm going to use my flannel board here. So what do you see on my board? Who's going to be in our story? We see a little old lady and a little old man. We see a dog, a cat, a pig, a cow, and a fox. Hmm, what do you think the story's about? But there is one more character in our story that you can't see right now. Are you ready? All right, let's get our listening ears on. So one day, the little old lady decided to bake some cookies for her husband and the rest of her family to share. She decided to cut it in the shape of a man. And she'd made a spicy dough full of ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves. When she peeked in the oven to check to see if it was done, 
the gingerbread man popped out and ran away. And the little old lady said, wait, stop, come back. And he said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So he, he ran past the little old man. The little old man said, wait, stop. And guess what he said? Say it with me. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he ran past the dog and the cat. And what did they say? They said, ruff, ruff, meow, meow, stop, come back. But he said, you can't catch me. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he ran past the pig and the cow. And they called, oink, oink, moo, moo. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So he ran away from them and he came to the river. But can the, can the gingerbread man swim across the river? No, because what happens if cookies will get wet? They get all mushy and they fall apart. So he couldn't get wet. What's he going to do? They're going to catch up to him. But along came the fox who said, oh, you can't get in the water, but I can help you across. Just climb on my back. So the gingerbread man did. Climbed on the fox's back and the fox started across the river. And its water got deeper. It rose up to the fox's back and the fox said, oh, you better get up on my head where you'll stay dry. So the gingerbread man climbed up on top of his head. But as he kept going, the water got deeper and deeper. And the fox said, oh, you better get way up here on the tip of my nose. So the gingerbread man did. And along came everyone chasing after him, the little old lady, the little old man, the dog, the cat, the cow and the pig. And the gingerbread man looked back at them and laughed. And he said, see, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And the fox flipped her head. And the gingerbread man went flying in the air and came back down. And the fox went and ate him all up. And she said, but I can. So he could outrun the little old lady, the little old man, the dog, the cat, the pig, and the cow. But he could not outsmart the fox, could he? So that is a story. There are lots of different versions. And we have lots of different books at the library with different stories about the gingerbread man. So check them out and see how they're different and what happens. Say bye-bye, gingerbread man. Okay, now we are going to do something else with the flannel board and cookies. So give me just one minute to set it up. And while we're while I'm setting up my board, why don't we sing Cookie Monster song? Do you know that song? What does cookie start with? Cookie starts with the letter C, just like that. So C is for cookie, that's good enough for B. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. And C makes a K sound in cookie. And sometimes the C makes a S sound like in circle. All right, so here we go. We have lots of cookies. How many do I have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna use our counting fingers. So let's wiggle our fingers and get them loose. Up, down, up, down, wiggle, wiggle. And we're gonna talk about colors and shapes with these. All right, so we have five little cookies with frosting galore. Daddy ate the red one and that left how many one two three four four little cookies two plus two you see mommy ate the what color green one and that left one two three 
three little cookies. And before I knew, my brother ate the blue one. And that left two. Two little cookies. Oh, what fun. My sister ate the, what color is this one? Black one. And that left one. One little cookie. Yum, yum, yum. I ate the last one. And then there were none. All right, now we're going to do it again. And this time we are going to focus on the shapes. And this time I want you to use your other hand. So both hands get an exercise. Now grown-ups, it's a good, good idea anytime you're doing five little somethings to do them twice and have your child use a different hand each time so all their fingers get a workout. Are we ready? So remember to use your other hand this time. Okay, five little cookies with frosting galore. Daddy ate the, what shape is this? Square one. That left four. Four little cookies. Two plus two, you see. Mommy ate the heart shaped one and that left three. Three little cookies. And before I knew, brother ate the round one and that left two. Two little cookies. Oh, what fun. My sister ate the triangle one and that left one. One little cookie. Yum, yum, yum. I ate the last one. And then there were none. Good job. Wasn't that a cute one? Lots, lots of yummy cookies. All right, well, that is all we have for our story time today. So let's sing our goodbye song. But we'll be, I'll be back next week, Wednesday at 1030 with a special Christmas story time. So tune in then. All right. <clears throat> story time is over. Wave goodbye. Story time is over. Wave goodbye. Story time is done, and I hope that you had fun. Story time is over. Wave goodbye. Okay, and remember, even though the libraries are closed to the public right now, we still have curbside service where you can place holds on materials and make an appointment to pick them up. And you can also pick up uh, kits to go for kids and adults. So we, we have lots of different things going on. So just give us a call and we can tell you all about it and put one on hold for you to pick up later. So until next week, read a good book. And as you see behind me, we have lots more books, stories about cookies and even a book about how to make cookies. So if you'd like to get some of these stories, just go on the website and put them on hold or give us a call and I'll pick some out for you. All right, take care and stay warm.